Hello, 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 Facebook. Um, I'm back again. I really just would like to clarify my Facebook Live last night. First of all, it was done on my personal page, not my business page. And so I do apologize for flooding your personal page yesterday. I, I don't normally do my live on my personal page. My live is done on my business page. Um, that's first of all. And second of all, whilst I did my live yesterday, um, my computer was saying um, HD was off because my, my, um, I didn't have a strong enough internet. So what I did, I started over again. But what happened, I thought I didn't have a title for my video. And so I prepared two um, presentations, one for yesterday, one for today. And so yesterday, I my title was um, Junk Food and Sugar. And so really and truly, I didn't talk much about junk food and sugar. So today... I'll be talking to you today about junk food and sugar because really and truly I didn't talk to you about that yesterday. So I need to clarify that other video yesterday and maybe redone it and do the title that is appropriate to that video um, yesterday. So today, um, and guys, thanks for the comment. Thanks for the feedback. Thanks for the share. Um, if you're watching this video um please go ahead and share. If you're watching on the replay, um, please do share or leave a comment so I can see it. Um, let me know if this has been very helpful to you. Um, my name is Wendy Davis. I am a health coach. I am currently working on my program. Now, it's going to be intense. It's going to be kind of surge. It's going to be fill off you know, help, um, you know, transformation information, transformation work. Um, I'm that coach if you want to see transformation instantly in your life. It doesn't matter what you're going through. I'm able to help you to transform your situation. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about sugar and junk food. Now, a lot of us is, you know, we guilty of that. I love chocolates. I love sweets. I love to um, indulge myself. I love good chocolate. So there's nothing wrong with that. But we're talking about when sugar and, 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 and junk food becomes, um, we're just really constantly, um, you know, wanting junk food and sugar. Um, I have been guilty myself. Um, I was obese myself. And so um, due to the obesity, I had to deal with um, arthritis in my knee. I've also had to deal with asthma. So for me, I had to do something about it. And so my journey has led me to learning from some of the best. And that's why I'm here to um, share some of these tips with you. Um, really and truly, if you are eating too much junk food and too much sweet and too much sugar, it, there, there is a possibility that you are burnt out. Um, you are burnt out. And so the tips I will be sharing with you today, how to control um, those overeating and those addiction to sugar um, is my most famous abdomen tapping. Um, for me, I this has been something that I've been struggling with. Um, and so I went on different diets. I've had so much different diets. They were successful. However, you do tend to, the minute you are off the diets, um, you start to put on the weight and you tend to put on more weight. And so, <clears throat> and so I know exactly what, what, what that meant. That meant you keep putting back on the weight and you are back to square one. So if you do not want to keep going round and round in a vicious circle, 
then you need to be able to be listening to me. Join my group. I'm going to be um, setting up my group. Um, and so within that private group, I will be doing exercise and sharing some wonderful stuff with you. Um, and if you have any question, I say do inbox me, send me a message and I am glad to answer you. Um, sugars and and um, thing. We don't we do know that when we eat sugars, right? It does help to, um, it triggers the dopamine in our body, the, ar the hormone dopamine. And that hormone dopamine, it does give us a feel-good factor. And so the, the tip I'll be sharing with you, you can use it. And that also re um, releases the hormone dopamine and serotonin, the feel-good hormones in our body that helps to make us feel good. So why not find out how you you can do that? But first and foremost, I would like to tell you that um, dopamine, for example, is, um, as I said, it's the feel-good transmitter in the brain. And if it's continue to be increased, um, the likelihood that will happen is that it becomes a habit um, and the habit will be reinforcement reinforced and it will it, it's a reinforcement conditioning and it activates overeating and so the neurochemical patterns, can make the behavior very difficult to shake. And that is why we keep ending up in vicious circle. We do not, we're not able to control our overeating. And I mean, I've been guilty of that. So there are ways you can learn how to control your um, dopamine, um, that you feel good hormones. You can do that by abdomen tapping. It is not the first time I've told you about abdomen tapping. Abdomen tapping is um, two inches below your belly button. Um, and what you do, you form a fist and you gently tap your abdomen. Now, what you're doing, you are stimulating those hormones um, responsible for your feel good, you know, what makes you feel happy, basically. So if you continue doing that every day for 10 minutes per day, um, you will see a big difference. Um, you could do that in the morning or you can do that at night when oftentimes when we're going to bed is when we want to eat. That sugar rush just come up on us. I do it all the time. I'll be doing great all day. And as soon as it is time to hit the bed, it is time. That is the time when I just feel like, nope, gotta have something sweet. And I, I would have done very well during the day, but the minute is, you know, after hours, it is time for that sugar rush. And so if you learn those few tricks, right, those practical steps and inbuilt them in your life, you will see a big changes of how to control the sugar rush in your life. Now, you know, anybody who has watched my videos before on belly button healing know that I've used belly button healing not only for controlling the dopamine level in my body. Um, two years ago, I was diagnosed with asthma. And so when I was diagnosed with asthma, I was given the blue pump, the subutamol, the reliever. And I thought to myself, okay, there's no way. How long do you stick on these pump? How long are you supposed to be? Well, it turns out it could be indefinite. So um, I was later increased to the um, the brown pump. And I thought, and this that was the steroid pump. And so I thought to myself, well, um, there is no way I want to be hooked on steroid all my life. And so I had to find another way of dealing with my asthma. 
And so when I met my mentor um, six, seven months ago, I had no idea. We did not discuss my health issues. My health issues were not one of the reason why it was not my asthma, certainly, because I didn't know there was no mentioning, you know, it was just how to be centered. So I wanted my life to be more balanced and more centered. And so when I was having my one-on-one coaching and we were actually doing the exercise together, um, normally in the summer I have, um, you know, I was really blocked. So every day my nose was really blocked. And so in the middle of doing the belly button tapping exercise, I noticed instantly within five seconds or 10 seconds, I would say my, 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 the blockage in my nose went. And so I thought I needed to find out more about this belly button tapping. And so I went on to do many investigation about it. I've actually used it myself. Um, I've, this journey has actually um, led me to castor oil also. And so I realized more and more, I didn't need the pump anymore. I certainly do not use the, um, the brown pump anymore, which is um, the steroid. And um, I do keep my pump if there is a real emergency and I'm not in a place where I can do belly button tapping, but I, I, I make sure I keep my medication there. But I wanted something naturally. I wanted something that was going to help me to slowly come off of my medication. And trust me, guys, it was perfect. It was absolutely um amazing to know that there is things out there you can do naturally to help you when you're sick. There's no need for you to rely on health system. You need to go out there and be proactive with your health and really get your health back. And so that is my journey. That was what led me to be um, on here, be able to share my story with you and to make an impact in other people's life. I thank you for watching and good night and God bless. I will talk to you tomorrow. You guys, I will clarify that video I did yesterday because I think it didn't address the sugar and the junk food. Tonight was the junk food and sugar um, video. I hope you enjoy. I hope you've learned something from it. Um, as usual, my son has walked in. But anyway, it is time to say goodbye. Say goodbye. No. You're not saying goodbye? Hey, hi. Okay, hi. He's saying hi, good night, and bye bye. God bless. Bye bye. Bye bye. Mommy. Mm hmm?